Okay, it's time to do Heaven's Turn. Naturally, of course, I've waited until the last minute. And naturally, of course, the weather is bad. But I'm not going to let that stop me. Let's go see if I have a good fortune uh, this year. Okay. The Box of Fortune. The Usagi Budyo sees great fortune in your future. Greetings, madame. From your bearing, I gather you are an adventurer. If so, there's a matter I would discuss with you. Ah, but where are my manners? I am the Usagi Bugyo, a member of a delegation hailing from Hingashi, a nation in the Far East. Each year we travel across the seas to share our tradition of heaven's turn with the peoples of Eorzea. In this realm, it is held that the gods raise up one amongst their number each year to serve as a herald of good fortune. In the Far East, however, tis not a god, but one of twelve noble beasts that is chosen. In previous Heaven's Turn celebrations, we gifted participants Kabuto fashioned after the presiding beast. But this year, we have an even greater reward an entire set of armor. Lest you wonder, I am wearing the very prize we offer. Magnificent, is it not? Surely you wish to claim a set for yourself. <gasps> if you do, I encourage you to speak with the Omikujushi standing near the Tempest Gate. He is a member of our delegation and would be honored to present you with the ar armor. You need but heed his request. Hmm. That sounds pretty good. Okay, let's go see what he wants. friend. I take it you have spoken with my associate, the Usagi Bugyo, and are willing to lend your assistance. Before I make any request of you, may I ask if you are all familiar with the word Omikuji? Miku, what? I have no idea. Omikuji, my friend, tis an old tradition of the Far East, one I would not expect the people of this land to know. A form of fortune telling, Omikuji may be translated as sacred lots in your tongue. One receives a lot at random and with it a message from the divine upon a piece of parchment. The message contains principles that describe what will bring one fortune or misfortune. By taking these principles to heart, one will be visited with happiness. Omi <clears throat> Omikuji are an indispensable part of the Heaven's Turn celebration in the Far East, and I'm honored for the opportunity to share this tradition with the people of Eorzea. Alas, perhaps due to a lack of familiarity, but a few souls have stopped to have their fortune told thus far. And this brings me to my request. If you are willing, I ask that you spread word of this auspicious opportunity to the townsfolk. 
Sure thing, boss. You have my thanks. As a local, I trust you know where to look for potential participants. I look forward to receiving those souls you send my way. All right, let's go find people. members. That name always makes me laugh. <laughs> ah, this should be fun. I'd known the Far Easterners were back for Evan's turn, but they're doing fortune telling as well this time, you say. These fortunes, they say anything about relationships, you know, between a man and a woman. Just curious is all, don't get any strange ideas. I know who she's thinking about. I've seen my fair share of Evans turn celebrations, but I can't say I heard of this Omikuji business afore. Does sound interesting though. When me shift ends, I'll head over with some comrades. Might make a nice diversion, and it'll take the opportunity to welcome the Far Eastern delegation. On behalf of Maelstrom. Awesome dude, thank you. A traditional test of luck for the new year? Consider me intrigued. As proud chaperones of the Moonfire Fair, we have a responsibility to learn what we can from other festivals. The idea of entrusting one's fortune to chance is a bit too superstitious for my liking, but I'm certainly curious. We'll be sure to let our colleagues in the Adventures Guild know about it. Far Eastern fortune telling, you say? I wager some of our patrons would be keen. Fortune favors the bold, after all, and most here don't want for audacity. Sense be damned. I'll nudge a few customers your way while taking orders. It's the least I can do in return for the extra business we get thanks to Heaven's turn. Okay. Okay, 
that was uh, easy enough. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, okay, I'll deal with that later. We did it. You have finished spreading word of the Omikuji? My heartfelt thanks. I dare say we can expect some participants to appear soon. Please stay and observe the proceedings. Welcome, one and all. It is my pleasure to introduce to you a time-honored fortune-telling tradition of the Far East, the Omikuji. The process is simple. Begin by shaking yonder box until it dispenses a stick. There will be a number on the stick which indicates which of these drawers you are to open. Take a piece of paper from that drawer. Upon it, your future is your fortune is written. <laughs> Once you have read your fortune, you may tie the parchment to the rack yonder. By doing so, good fortune will become better still, whilst misfortune will be cleansed. Alternately, you may also keep the parchment with you to guide you throughout the year. So, who wishes to learn their fortune first? Yes! Mine says great fortune, the luckiest you can get. There isn't a single negative thing written on it. Hee <laughs> hee, I can throw myself wholeheartedly into adventuring this year. Damn it all, mine says grave misfortune. I'm doomed, doomed I tell you. The one you're waiting for is on their way. The love of your life will appear. This, this is all too sudden. Ah, tis a fine feeling to have others experience and enjoy your culture. Now what of you, my friend? Would you care to learn your own fortune? As thanks for your help, the first lot will be free of charge. Yes, please. Let's take a look. Then go on. Give the box a good shake. Good fortune, thou shalt experience exceptional fortune. Keep these words of guidance in thy heart. Adventure, hither and thither wander alone. Enjoy moments of respite all thine own. Relationships, from an unlikely meeting a relationship shall bloom. Prosperity, great riches await in gilded halls. Be open-handed. Conflict, thy weapons Suiteth thee well, continue in thine efforts with confidence. Favor, be creative like unto the builder, and, sure, and a surer hand of craftsmanship shall be thine. Ah, that's pretty nice. Let's get one more pick, just in case.
allow me to thank you once more. Without your help, these folk may never have discovered Omikuji. Whatever the divine may have in store for you, I pray the coming year will bring you happiness. Thank you. Okay, so that completes that, but it looks like there's more. What is this? With great fortune comes great responsibility. The far eastern Omiku Jishi appears troubled by what he is seeing. Okay, this has the glams. Let's do it. Forgive me, my friend, but might I ask for another moment of your time? In no small part, due to your assistance, many are enjoying their first experience with Omikuji. For some, however, it appears to be a source of stress. These two adventures, for example, drew opposite results. Great fortune, it says. Can you believe it? That means I have naught to fear. Aye, this is my chance to make it big as an adventurer. Seven hell. What a dreadful heaven's turn this turned out to be. Grave misfortune. What did I do to deserve such rotten luck? Do not be so disheartened, my friend. Though Omikuji may foretell fortune and misfortune, they also provide us with guidance in our daily lives. A great blessing can become a curse should one view it as a license to act rashly. Similarly, a great curse can become a blessing should one heed its warning. What you make of your lot depends on you. So you say, but just look at Hildalana, how happy she is. Why can't I be like that? My words fail to reach him, alas. Perhaps yours can. Could you try to rally his spirits? Sure thing, boss. No worries, I'll fix you up. Thank you for trying to cheer me up. I appreciate it, truly. But you do not understand the burden I bear, the burden of grave misfortune that weighs heavily upon my soul. This is rather more serious than I thought. Please, can you think of any other ways to lift him out of his malaise? Try to psych you up. You, you're right. I mustn't give up the fight. And yet... Do you feel better, my friend? I see. If I may, what did the Omikuji say in its entirety? As I mentioned, they do not only foretell one's fate, but also provide guidance in one's daily life. I must confess, I didn't see anything beyond the words grave misfortune. So shocked I was. I ought to have a proper read, I suppose. Let's see here. Adventure. Thou must think of others before thyself. Well, that isn't so bad. And next, prosperity. Prepare to lose thy treasured armor. <gasps> oh, I knew I shouldn't have read the blasted thing. This set of armor is my pride and joy. 
I worked myself to the bone, earning the gill to pay for it. And now I'm going to lose it all? Come now, let us read the Omikuji to the end. Look, as the navigator maintaineth her net, so too must thou tend to thy friendships. Let not camaraderies weave fall into disrepair. Sage advice, would you not agree? Treasure your comrades and your luck may change for the better. Yes, yes, you, you are right. My thanks to the two of you for helping me to see sense. Sure thing. Help! I need help! Mochi Daikon, calm down and tell us what ails you. I, I was preparing for the mochi pounding when a young adventurer, cheerful and fearless, emerged from the city. At first I didn't pay her much mind. But then, to my horror, she ran afoul of a group of enormous fiends. The monstrosities overwhelmed her in mere moments, and I rushed here as quickly as I could for help. A cheerful and fearless young adventurer? Kami preserved. Could it be Hildalana? What? But how can this be? She was supposed to have great fortune. Ugh, but this isn't the time for such questions. I must go to her aid. Budafun, wait! This is a troubling situation. You strike me as an adventure of considerable prowess. Will you not go after Budafun and lend your aid if necessary? You got it, boss. <gasps> Our thanks. Please follow me. All right, let's go find this guy. See what trouble you've gotten into. You came too? Thank you. Followed me here, did you? We both took a bit of a beating, but I'm pleased to say we're still breathing. I finished the guild's request without issue, but then I got greedy. If Budafun hadn't arrived when he did, who knows what might have happened. I merely did what my friend would, Hildalana. I'm just glad you, I made it in time. I shouldn't have put you through that. And look what's become of your armor. I'm so sorry, Budafun. It's broken because of me. Oh, don't mention it. It is a small price for protecting a dear friend, and one I willingly pay again and again. Heh, but if this didn't play out exactly as the Omikuji had foretold. Hmm. Well, let's return to the city. For one, I need to pay the armorers a visit, but we'll look for you afterwards.
What a relief that neither of them came to lasting harm. Let us head back ourselves. Domi Kujishi will doubtless be eager to hear the tidings. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Hopefully Budafun and Hildalana will join us as well. Welcome back, my friend. I understand everyone is safe, but what happened out there? My friends, I cannot ex well express how relieved I am for your preservation. It is because I failed to explain the Omikuji in sufficient detail that you met with danger. I can't po apologize enough. Please do not blame yourself. I'm the one who overestimate my own abilities. Having great fortune doesn't mean that one can act without due care. I realize this now. And I would have realized sooner had I properly read the Omikuji beforehand. Adventure, the way shall open to those who know their limits, it says. But there's more. Relationships, thou shalt be blessed with stalwart comrades, and I truly am. Ah, that reminds me. What became of your armor? You wish to have it repaired, I believe. Unfortunately, it was too far gone. The armorer told me it would take more, make more sense to have a new one crafted. Not that I have that sort of coin either. In that case, I believe we can be of service. We offer a set of Yoroi, armor in your tongue, as a reward to those who have helped to make this Heaven's Turn celebration better, you have more than earned it. Truly? This sounds too good to be true. Ah, but it is true, my friend, and no more than you deserve. Come now, don't be shy. Take your prize and try it on. It's magnificent, just magnificent. Heh, <laughs> and to think my Omikuji said grave misfortune. Take this as a lesson that no matter your fortune, you still hold the power to shape your fate. And I believe the Yoroi suits you well, if I might add. As you will recall, your fortune cautioned you to put the needs of others before yourself. And so you did by risking your life to save your comrade. That selfless act may well have reversed your grave misfortune. I see. Actually, I don't. I don't really understand the workings of Omikuji, but I do know that I'll always have Bodafun's back, just as he always had mine. And now that he has a new set of armor, perhaps we can take to the road together. I can't thank you enough for helping with the many unexpected troubles that occurred this day. 
I would be honored if you'd accept a set of Yoroi of your own. Furthermore, should you wish to draw Omikuji, you need only say the word. Indeed, I hope to see you many more times before the festivities end. It is still raining. Still raining. Let's see. Let's take a quick look at how this armor looks. Let me see, did any of it end up in here? Okay, good. I can't remember where anything is. Uh, there we go. Let's try that. Okay, let's see. Take a good look. <laughs> Very nice. I know it's obvious, but I think I'll use this for my samurai. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it for this stream. I always do this for uh, seasonal events. Just to um, have a little fun with the voices and make sure that the streaming setup still works. I don't do this very often, um, but I do wanna make sure that I can do it when I have to. So with that, I will bid you adieu.